The spindle moves back and forth in your recip saw to drive the blade. It is driven by the wobble plate, supported by the front bushing, and has the blade clamp attached to the end which holds the blade. The spindle can wear over time, both where the bushing rubs against it and where the wobble plate attaches. Occasionally it can break on the end where the blade attaches. Replacing the spindle is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the shoe from the saw. Now remove the shoe release lever. Now use a punch to remove the shoe pin from the saw. Next, I'll remove the boot from the front of the saw. Now I can remove the gearbox from the motor. Now remove the blade clamp from the spindle. It's held in place with a helical retaining ring. Now remove the pin from the clamp. And now the rest of the pieces will come free. The ring is rusted onto the spindle on my saw. So I'll go ahead and clamp the ring in a vise and then use a punch to tap the spindle out. Next, I'll remove the plate inside the gearbox. There's a cap on the front of the gearbox, and I'll remove it. Now I'll remove the nut that was behind the cap. Next, I'll remove the gear from the gearbox. There's a second helical retaining ring that holds the spindle assembly into the gear case, and I'll go ahead and remove that. Now remove the spindle assembly from the gear case. I'll remove the wobble plate from the spindle. Now I'll place the spindle assembly into the jaws of my vise. I want to support the ears of the bushing on the top of the vise. And now I can tap the spindle out. Now remove the rear bushing from the old spindle and transfer it to the new one. Now install the new spindle into the other bushing. 
I'll align the posts that secure both sets of bushings together and place this assembly back in the vise so I can tap the lower bushing back onto the posts. I want to tap this until the posts are flush with the bushing. And that looks good. I'll pack some new grease into the gearbox. Now I'll reinstall the gear. As I install the gear, I want to make sure that the recess lines up with the eccentric on the wobble shaft. Now I'll secure the gear with the nut. Now I can reinstall the retaining ring that secures the spindle. Now I can reinstall the cover plate. And I'll secure it with the screws. Now I'll reattach the two halves of the saw. Now I can reassemble the blade clamp. First I'll start with the cover, followed by the spring. The leg on the spring should be pointed more towards the bottom part of the saw. Next I'll install the sleeve. The groove on the sleeve should be pointing out. And I'll line the hole in the sleeve with the hole in the spindle. Now install the cam onto the sleeve. The cam should have the recessed portion pointing out and there's a groove on this side that aligns with the leg on the spring. Now I want to rotate the cam counterclockwise until there's enough room to insert the pin through the sleeve and the spindle. Like that. Now I'll line the outer sleeve with the cam and secure the clamp with the retaining ring. Now I can replace the nut cap and the rubber boot. Now I can reinstall the shoe pin.
Now I can reinstall the shoe release lever. For installation, I'll rotate the shoe pin until the flat is pointed down. Now I'll install one side of the lever onto the pin and then the other. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the shoe. And that's how you can replace the spindle in your recip saw. Thank you.